Veil VR is a one-of-a-kind game that looks to change the landscape of VR esports with the inclusion of gameplay specifically made for competition and esports. But what sets Veil VR apart from the rest of the VR games? What makes it the chosen platform destined to revolutionize the esports world? And what could be the issues that can arise from this game that would need to be solved before it begins its esports era? We would need to first talk about the developers and how they change the landscape of VR esports as a whole. See, the developers already had a big tournament during its beta phase with Veil VR with a $35,000 prize pool. That alone showcases that players are willing to play the game, but also showcases that viewers are willing to sit there and watch people play VR games, you know, drop shotting in real life to win a game. However, there is a separation between VR esports and regular esports, and that difference is the immersion and the potential it has to change the way we see sports as a whole. Now, normally when you watch esports games, you usually have some idea what's going on, except for this hot mess of a seizure game, Overwatch 2. God. Because it's really simple to watch esports games as a whole. A lot of popular games like League of Legends, Counter-Strike 2, and I would even say Dota 2, they all have this either top-down or slow-paced gameplay that allows players to understand what's going on within the game. And not only is it slow-paced, but it also mimics a lot of other real-life sports as well. With Veil VR, however, it's different because it showcases the athleticism of VR players. You see, VR players actually move when they're playing the game, you know, crouching, aiming with their arms or their controllers, taking cover, throwing utilities slash lethals. It's very similar to watching Counter-Strike, but it's much more athletic because it's about virtual reality, using your body as the controller. And to me, that has so much potential to pave a way for an entirely new genre of esports competition that was not even possible before. And it's all due to the fact of mobility and athleticism being integrated with video games now. And the best part about this is other mechanics from games that are about keyboard or mouse or controller, like COD's Quitscope, can be mimicked with Veil VR by doing a certain VR movement called Aim Punching. Aim punching is where someone punches the air while holding your controllers or holding the gun in game and punching your arm forward to see down the sight. Not only is it twice, if not three times as fast as aiming normally, but it also showcases there's a skill ceiling of actual athleticism and not just gameplay mechanics. VR esports is a cross between gaming and athletic sports, and that brings up a whole new way to see or watch esports games. And like Ready Player One, you could see these players using treadmills to run around in game and have some kind of realism with movement. But VR as a whole is paving a way for esports as well. It's not just Veil VR, because when you look at other games, for example, Sprint Vector, it tries to mimic how people run in real life by using locomotive motion, using your arms to actually run around. Now, if you combo that up with a treadmill, you basically have a real life simulator of running, which can be used for a lot of different ways for different kinds of games. For example, you can make an esports game based on football, where you actually have to run like a receiver and you can do different kinds of movements or jukes in VR to capture a football. And there are other ways that people use motions in VR games and this video by Virtual Insider about three years ago showcases this and it could be implemented into a lot of other VR games including Veil VR but I'm, I'm getting sidetracked because Veil VR is the point and the point of Veil VR is it shows potential that it can bring up many ways for players to not only play the game but also brings it up in a sports level setting because of the way it's produced for gameplay mechanics and human physicality. But Veil VR isn't all fine and dandy off of its 1.0 release. They need to make a ranked and competitive mode, which they don't have for some reason right now. I don't know why developers in any VR game have decided to make a game that's about esports or going into esports and not have a fucking ranked mode in it in the first release. 
Yeah, I'm talking to you, Breachers. You've been working on it for a whole year and a half, or wherever the fuck how long it is. Where is it at? But but seriously, VR games somehow always decide to make a game with a competitive feeling and design and not have a ranked mode in it, and it just sucks. And I would like to see more VR games out there actually release a game with a ranked mode because I can see more replayability with it. But it's not just, you know, ranked mode being an issue, but it's also the community because it can feel weird to experience playing for the first time in VR if you're like 20 something years old or maybe an adult and you want to get into it. And then you hear these 10 to 12 year olds. I'm on, I'm on, knock I'm on. in, knock in, brothers. Knock in, knock in, hey, brothers. All of us are pushing A because I want to go A because I have the fuser. I don't care, brother. Do you want to lose? That's why you're on the fucking bottom of the leaderboard, you fucking diblet. Fucking shut up, bitch. Do they kiss their mothers with that mouth? The f- Do you get a report for fucking cursing? This is an R-rated game, buddy. Speaking of David, let me be freaking kissing. I walk with your arm, Sigma, and Luna. I am- I don't care that I'm Sigma. That's cringe. You still live in 2021. That didn't even came out 2021. They're gonna be weak. And then you're gonna die right there. What the fuck am I listening to? Uh, but I digress. We can move on from that because that's just normal. And really, those are the only drawbacks I see with Veil VR. It's a really good game. You know, gameplay is fantastic. All of it is being balanced with how weapons, maps, and gameplay works. Uh, weapons are easy to handle and have a variety to use from. You know, shotguns, assault rifles, battle rifles, pistols, grenades, SMGs, all have balance to them. The game is ready for competitive mode. It really is. They just need to make a simple rank system and call it a day. And before they even make a tournament, I would like to see them try to do something with like how the Overwatch League did, but you know, not fucked up, where they have teams from different states that represent the states and then have them do something similar to like the NFL, where all the teams battle it out each week at different locations. I think that'd be really cool. Might be a little too expensive. I can understand that because it's a it's a VR game. It's not really going to be financially successful enough to where they can do that. But they are successful enough to be able to start a tournament sooner or later. And I'm hoping to see that really soon because it's really fun to watch VR esports games. It's really it really is. And I hope they profit off of the esports as well because esports is kind of, again, iffy when it comes down to gaining profit and especially esports teams. I think a lot of esports teams like 100 Thieves, FaZe Clan, Evil Geniuses, Paper Rex, like all these esports teams do have some difficulty with gaining financial support because all they really get out of it is from the tournament money and the amount of money that fans are willing to spend into the esports teams but there's so many it's just kind of i don't know look the point is it's not my expertise again i just think that'd be really cool to see something similar to the overwatch league except when it's not fucked up and not made by blizzard and activision which already is there and that's it and if you want to know more about veil vale vr and its potential actually look at the developers channel they're called x labs and they go into deep dives of how they developed the game why they developed it and the philosophy behind the designs of the game i also suggest watching video reviews about the game that isn't sponsored to get the full details about if the game is getting worth to buy yet or you should wait a little bit longer before you should buy it for me i enjoy it on the side it's a casual game for me I can just play whenever I want to, but when ranked mode comes out, I will probably be playing it a lot more in the same way with Breachers, the same way with any other casual FPS game. If they decide to add in a ranked mode, a lot of people are probably going to start playing that. But yeah, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And honestly, the next video is probably going to be doing something along the lines of killing all the bosses and Ghost of Tabor or, or something else. I haven't really decided yet because I really hadn't have enough time to do VR stuff because, you know, having a job and trying to do a bunch of other responsible things is pain in the ass. But aside from my life, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and or week and or month. I'll check you guys all later. Deuces, take care everyone.